Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co host, Brian. Good on, everybody. On location, and we have Lasagna Brett. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. We are here, as you can see in the title and the thumbnail Jersey Shore Family Vacation. Sammy Sweetheart's back, everybody. We, this, we're not going to bury the lead. We got the meeting. And I got to say, man, I feel good. That was a wholesome, great reunion. Um, the superficial issues that have kept a lot of them away and apart were cleared up in about 16 seconds, which was great for us, great for them, and bad for Angelina. Um, really backfired <laughs> there. I'm just feeling happy. I, I just loved it. I thought it was a great episode. There's a lot of funny things besides that we can get into. But uh, Bri, on location here, man, I want to hear, like, what was your reaction to the reunion? I was really, I really enjoyed it. I, I was just like watching it while driving and just laughing at how like Sammy was just getting, didn't take any time for the BS. She got right into it, calling out people. I loved it. And like Snooki said one thing, it's like, I, I'm not going to get mad or hold grudges to people that I actually love. And that was like a shot totally at Angelina. So I just, I kind of feel bad for Angelina that she's never going to win no matter what happens. Yeah, everyone just hates Angelina so much. She she is kind of kind of bitchy. And I thought it was funny that, yes, yeah, Sammy, I didn't even know she was gone because I actually haven't seen this show since the end of the last time when they were yeah, still yeah. kids. So uh, yeah. I didn't realize she was gone, but I thought it was funny. How, yeah, she just went from person to person, squashed the beef. And Angelina thought she was bringing in a sidekick and an ally to help her with her war. <laughs> and then uh, Sammy didn't want any part of that. Yet then Angelina almost got away with it until the end when she reminded Snooki that they had beef. And she's like, oh, shit, I forgot. Yeah, she's like, I thought we were just going <laughs> to leave that alone. Like, I thought we were just going right. to maybe just like not talk about it. And like, maybe we would let it go for you because frankly you're the one who acted up and so like if we're not confronting you you should just leave it alone like you're 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 barking up the wrong tree and again it's just because she's unfortunately for angelina she's just completely wrong in this like just there's no argument everyone was surprised that you got engaged to this guy so soon everyone brought it up nobody was questioning more than others you were just sensitive to it because you probably know in the back of your mind it's crazy and look i don't like to um get ahead of things, but I did see today on uh, on the news on Twitter and it's on like Variety page six that she called the cops on herself and her fiance for like a domestic dispute. So that's the not new one? Angelina. Yeah, the new guy. Oh, no, man. Yeah, Jeez. they're filming season seven, they said, too, in this article that will air in the fall. So it's it's going to pick right back up. So it's there. Wow. They're, yeah. So, I mean, I, we hope. It doesn't sound like she didn't press charges, though. So, I mean, that's a very classic Jersey domestic dispute. Got in a big argument. She threatens to call the cops. She says, probably call the cops. She calls the cops. And then the cops get there. She's like, well, I don't want them to get arrested. So just like, sorry for wasting your time. Um, I I thought, like, yeah, like, it's funny. The the thing that remember we talked about, Brian, last week was like, is this legit? Right. Do they know she's coming or not? Mike's face when they make the the joke about like having to get Ronnie, he was like, his eyes just <laughs> darting between <laughs> is like all the proof you need that this is like, oh no, like this is a hundred percent real, and like he knows this is gonna come into play. The the, the wheels are already in motion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought the reactions were great. Like Paulie's was great, um, Snooky. I mean, even the tearing up, even though they were like still like they had like a beef or same. I thought they had a beef. I thought it was pretty genuine. Like I, I, I kind of felt like happy for them all. You could tell it affected them, you know, and mm-hmm. I think even like, look, we're not huge Jenny fans a lot of the times, but even the stuff they talk about, like BFFs and like on the bar stool pods and stuff, it's like that reeks of someone who's hurt and confused and doesn't really know why we're not talking. And I think Dina just put it the best way. And we've all been there. We're all like, especially you and I, Brian, are like the age, we're like we're all like close enough where it's like, you do just drift. There are just friendships that drift, yeah. not because really anybody did anything. You like they like Dina said, she's like, I probably missed like two or three texts in a row where I'm, I'm definitely answering this person. And then all of a sudden it turns into like six months and it turns into a year. And then it's just what it is. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, so you have kids, especially. Yeah, it was her first kid. So, you know, they the last time they saw them was at Dina's wedding. So it's like six years and she hasn't been on the show again. Like we all know it's like 11 years. So. Yeah. Look, I'm glad I didn't want this to be a big fight throughout. Like, I just want them to go have fun. And now, like, the fights they'll have will be the organic, just getting on each other's nerves fights. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, going to happen. Yeah. But they're afraid of, the, of her. Sammy wasn't mad or 
they weren't mad at Sammy. They thought Sammy was mad at them. Well, Sammy as was. Them. Yeah. So that's why they like, so they had no beef with her other than that. They thought Sammy had beef with them with the whole, uh, what do you guys think about the, the store, the store thing? Look, it's stupid. Ripped off Snooki if it Snooki the stores first. It, it's stupid, but this is why I always like Sammy is that like, it is kind of relatable. It's a little petty. But then, like, she admits it. She's like, you know what? That was petty of me. That was dumb. Like, she even knew. Like, uh, I think it's yeah, like she's like probably not- had that same thing conversation with herself, right? But, like, just right. when you're finally having it with Nicole, it, it's going to play out like that. Yeah, because Nicole, Nicole, Dina, and Jenny would never admit that they were wrong. It would, you'd have to, like, hold a gun to their head. Yeah, to for them to admit they're wrong. The only thing I don't like is I don't want the fights where they're talking about like I'm blocked on Instagram. I don't want to hear about those fights. Like I get they're they matter, but like they're stupid. Just talk to the person. Like she could have just DM'd her, be like, hey, like let's talk about it. And like that's what she was saying. It was petty, but like it, it's such a day age now. Like I I don't even think I've ever blocked anybody in my life. Oh, uh, I have. I checked this recently. I am not. I have not got nobody. Nobody blocked. That's not like a, a fake account. You know, like one of those yeah. like troll, like where you're getting like the Instagram messages or like the yeah. Facebook. I know I'm blocked. On some. Oh, I'm definitely. I know I'm, I'm blocked. blocked too, but... I've been blocked some people. We are. You have people. Wait, you have people blocked. I don't block anybody. Oh, but okay. Okay. Have blocked me to where like if I try to find them online, I'm like, do they exist anymore? No, I- no. I I see <laughs> ones where like I'm blocked and like. I'm friends with the other people that are tagged in it and I can't click on like the certain ones. Yeah. Like, yeah. Those are, those are good. Yeah. Mm. This is 2023. We're on unblock everybody. Mm. There's nothing. Big to brother's, hide. Big brother's blocking people tonight. I'll tell you that. Yeah. They're not, did they turn the feeds back on. No, no. Oh God. But um, I do want to bring up a few things. Uh, Mike, the scratch offs are so funny. Dude, I know so I many people nine, like Mike. Nine, Nine hundred fifty dollars in one day is nuts. Well, to he's not got win money though, he didn't. I know, but he didn't even win like five. He didn't even win a free ticket. Like you can win a free ticket like one out of four. Yeah, and that's see, that's where he cool. went wrong though too. You shouldn't split them up. Like if you're gonna buy yeah, like eight hundred dollars worth, thing. buy the roll because if yeah, that roll's roll, got yeah. one big ticket, it'll yep. hit right. If you start splitting right. up statistically, yeah. you're actually having a less chance to win in those type of things. And he's buying yeah. like. Two dollar scratch offs of a show, like so he's just buying like forty rolls of like two dollar ones. Like, yeah, buy some you gotta, I think you got to go tens if you if yeah, for 10, his money. 20? You got to go the tens or fifteen or even twenties. That's where you're gonna get the big money. Yeah, you could scratch off five k, ten k. Like yeah, that's and you right, got the money right. again. So even those, yeah. they give you money. Like I did a scratch off the other day because someone gave it to me and it had a dollar on it. So I feel like they'll still give you a dollar here and there. Yeah, that's makes- what I mean. A free ticket. He didn't get one of the free tickets of the. Like face value of it's just uh, the odds, like you said, Bill. It's like you need to. He was bouncing around too many locations. That, he went to like seven like, spots. Yeah, like he, he's being dumb. But I guess when you have a lot of money, it doesn't matter. Can I talk about the one thing that actually? Oh God, I got one thing that actually annoyed me this whole episode, and it was Jenny taking the bedroom. Oh yeah, totally. It's not yeah, your that, trip. That was Bush League. It's not your yeah, trip. I completely agree. I completely agree. This isn't like bad. Did she name the places besides Manalapin? And that was, again, a thing that the show set up. All those places she named were literally like 16 years ago. Yeah. Yep. She's like in, the, in, in, in Seaside in Italy, like literally what season three of this show. Yeah, and like, it's not. Yeah. But it's, and it's like the producers paid for it. Like Mike didn't buy it or like uh, Polly, like whoever buys the house or gets it, it gets dibs no matter what time they arrive. Yeah, Paulie's gotten them places before, like in Vegas, and he's got like the main yeah. room. Like, yeah, as he should. I'm like so excited that I, I mean, next week's funny. So it looks like Sammy at first is going to try to be like the broker between Angelina and them. And I think eventually she's going to get sick of Angelina. And then it's probably. going to go back That's to the OGs versus Angelina. And then Ronnie will show up, and that'll be like the thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. curious if Ronnie will make like if Sam's just gonna bury the hatchet with Ronnie or I think she will. a different reaction there, get like an Oppenheimer. I think she will. I mean I they think she will because Ronnie's life, so fucking like down now too. Yeah. Like he's like sober. He had to go through like custody battles. He like said to sell mm-hmm. multiple houses and move. He's like finally moving and like he's in a good spot. I don't 
I mean, Sammy's got a boyfriend. I've said that I'll say this crazier things have happened, but it's not going to happen when they first like meet. Right. Yeah, like, I don't think they'll get. I don't think so. Either. I don't it's think so. Get back together. I also, hope she doesn't. one other thing they, they she quickly alluded to, but I think is a bigger storyline that they're not going to expunge upon here is that expound upon. Excuse me, is that she was dating someone different when family vacation started and I read about like that guy wanted like nothing to do with her doing it and him being like involved with that. So I do think that's a bigger part. And so when she talks about like the relationships and stuff too, I think they frame it as Ronnie, but I do think she's had other stuff since that's oh. it, it's easy to kind of umbrella that together. But I don't think she's like the stuff she even got to talk with her mom about is really much about, I really doubt she really gives a crap about Ronnie anymore. Like that's so long ago. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think she does either. The, the guy she's got looks looks like a Ronnie upgrade. So, oh yeah, she's got a type for sure. And like, yeah, she's she's Ronnie's beneath her at this point. Yeah, Ronnie is not gonna. I don't think Ronnie's gonna get a girlfriend for like a very long time. I think he's just. No, nah, he shouldn't. Still... He he needs to work on himself, and he's got a kid. It's a lot different. And I'm hoping that that could. He's not gonna go back to his ways. I think when you have a kid, it kind of changes you. Even if you don't want it to, it just does it. Yeah, and she's at the age where she knows what's going on now, too. So I yeah. think you got to look to like Polly. Polly is like the perfect way to like the mimic how to do it. Like you've never seen Polly's daughter. You've seen her like twice on like mm-hmm. very rare occasions where he like will do something with her. And I just read today yep. that like he recently just introduced her to Nikki. Like, and they were Nikki, him and Nikki dated for like years before he even like introduced them. You know what they're I mean? They're still together? So, yeah, they're still together. Yeah, so Nikki just maybe is not, she hasn't been on the show in a while. I think she just. I think she doesn't want wine thrown on her anymore. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I saw the good show point. that he had Nikki on. The what? The double shot at love. I did watch. That. Yeah, it's a great show. Yeah, that was a good. That was a great show. Love that show. I think for Paulie's sake too, like he never gets angry and all that bullshit. And I think if she's on there, he's always going to be kind of like having to be protective of her, yeah. even though it's family. So I think right. he just knows it's. It's also just easier for him, frankly. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Wouldn't want my wife on if I could avoid it, right? Not because I don't love her, but like if I could avoid that in those situations, like and then I have to take her side in fights or something, right? Yep, like I wanted to do that. Could kind of not crap. agree more with you, man. Could not agree more. <laughs> Speaking of uh, guys with wives, so is, is Mike in the right here where he leaves his wife with a newborn baby and a toddler to go on a trip? Like, He's got, they, have, they, they got they got fam- they live in Jersey as for their families, so I think they're in the same like town as their families. Yeah, and I, I think when you, yeah, I agree with you, Brett. I completely agree with you. If, if like I did that, I would definitely be crucified. But I think he he's at the money level where it's his job. They're too. gonna they have help. Like they have a lot of help that they're they probably have like a nurse that's there, a person like just strictly there all the time. Like when you got that kind of money, that's what you pay for. He also has it. This it's literally his. Yeah, I agree, Brett. Like, if it was like family. an actual vacation, but it's their it's his tri- it's their job. Yeah, it is his job too. I mean, he's it's getting paid for this. It, by going on this trip yeah yeah they definitely so. are doing really they do i think that they probably prepare like season are definitely getting up into like the millions probably now it's one of the only shows that actually gets views besides like the challenge that and like rob deardeck mm-hmm. shows so yeah especially yeah. now with sammy i mean they're gonna see a boom oh for sure social media interaction is much higher i've seen that just on twitter mm-hmm. and stuff from there mm-hmm. of all the of all the shows we watch this this has to be the best editing i've ever seen from like the production crew the way they just like cut in and out of oh the editing's great stuff and it's great doing flashbacks non-stop yeah even yeah. the way they do it where they like it's they always have that can it's like a camera reel and they really did it with the flashbacks where it like flies by really quick like i i, I do enjoy that that grainy I think they've had a lot of the same producers, even from like the original yeah. show around, at least the ones even now, this is the sixth season and anybody getting a producer job for the show definitely knows like Jersey Shore, like the back of their head. So like as soon as something happens, right. they're like, oh, no, I remember when they said that, like, they know, like, trust me. It's like, yeah, the yeah. only the only people that could that rival Jersey Shore are like the Bravo people, the, yeah, Bravo, like the Housewives and Vanderpump. They're of the equal level of like the throwbacks and stuff like that. Yeah. And like when Sammy came back last episode, like some of the producers like, I, I, it's so good to see you. Like, I never thought we'd see you again. Like, that's the level. Like, they've been there that long. And I mean, you wouldn't want to give up that job. It's it's probably great. It's a, it's a great job. So, look, she's yeah. definitely going to be back for at least season seven. So that'll get her at least mm-hmm. one and a half seasons. And I think it'll keep going past that. So especially yeah, if Ronnie will be back in the mix and you have everybody back like that's you nah, probably get a couple of seasons of that at least. So, 
Mm-hmm. All right. Well, look, the reunion way more positive. I'm glad we all could enjoy it. Brian could enjoy it on the road. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe here and on TikTok so you can catch all of our coverage of reality TV. Uh, the review before this one will have been the Love Island USA episode 22 review. So yep. uh, we are in Casa Amor night four. So we are getting there. Uh, it's the uh, Thursday night recording. If you guys are watching this later on in the week, uh, we'll have this, uh, the re- the premiere of the Challenge USA season two, uh, a whole bunch of stuff coming this week. We had a lot of great stuff, uh, blow deck stuff doing really well on TikTok, like I mentioned before. Uh, but until next time for myself, Brian and Lasagna Brett. Thank you. Peace.